some of the best times I've had have been at Loving Men, and there's always something going on that's extraordinary and, and different. It's, it's a really warm and loving environment that's very nurturing. Things I felt so supported um, that it's been like an exciting journey. They call it, you know, it's an event, but it's an adventure as well. So Loving Men is uh, an organization. We're a network. Um, we do, we run various events during the year. And what we decided to call our events were Adventures in Intimacy. Mm. And I think one of the reasons why we feel that's important is that we find, I think a lot of gay men find intimacy challenging. Whoosh, you know, and that feels like whoosh, that energy feels really right, you know, because suddenly we're there and there's a group of us. And um, so even for the kind of formal structure of um, workshops, small groups, uh, we've written some resources and everything is all about um, intimacy between gay and bisexual men. Special moments for me are when uh, another person has a, has a revelation about themselves, has a euphoria moment, has a eureka moment about themselves and and when uh, to see lives uh, transform within a, within a short space of time uh, and that happens for me every year. I think the main thing for me about loving men is community, being with uh, other gay men, gay bisexual men, in a space where it's okay to talk about a lot of things, where perhaps in other parts of my life, talking about them could be problematic. Um, there's a real sense of connection and uh, a sense of brotherhood as well, which has been really nice. Regarding the, the, the diversity of the people who attend Loving Men is a great variety um, from ethnicity to age and to health status as well and I remember we have to stand in the circle go from the youngest to the oldest and we have people in their 20s in their 30s up to in their 80s. It's been such a nicely balanced week you know with just enough working on yourself, relaxation time, so much to do just being here is fantastic, so. Loving Men really helps you to form deeper relationships, which is not, not about sex, it's not about drugs, it's not about being shallow, it's something else, and that's been really important for me. But also even, I think, that just the whole process here is all about relationships. Uh, so it's how we relate to each other and, and, and the whole, and the workshops and all of that. It all is about relationships, it is about love, mm -hmm. intimacy, and maybe some sex in there too. Yes, if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the things that makes this event very special for me is that, is the laughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I don't think I laugh as much as I do in one week as I do here. And I think for me that is very healing and very therapeutic. Mm. Um, and it's something that uh, I look forward to every year. I learn about humanity. And I learn about diversity. I learn about uh, integrity. And, uh, and I was moved about the, the willingness to connect as uh, human beings. So I would say that's the essence of loving men, about meeting others, doing things with others, finding out about yourself, um, and hopefully those contacts will continue after, and, we, and I think that happens. And, and I've heard of people, you know, who've made really good friendships that way, and, um, and, and even we've had a few loving men weddings as well. <laughs> the experience was quite moving. I, um, I think it was a a week where I really shifted the way I lived my life after having that week, after interacting with gay men in a different kind of way, a way that I didn't think was possible. So if a Martian was to land at a Loving Men event, what they might detect is happening is men taking down and off some of the defensive uh, armor that we've put on in order to survive and revealing ourselves a bit more authentically, a bit more truly, a bit more vulnerably. Some of us more, some of us less, but everyone is involved in that process at some extent and something magical happens when we take off some of the armour 
we lose some of the defensiveness and we become human beings being together and that's very special and very magical and I think a Martian might be able to detect that. I mean, it's it's not uh, a week of therapy, but it is very therapeutic. It can be very therapeutic. I'm very aware whenever we do an event here that the men who start the week look very different and sound very different by the end of the week. And for mm -hmm. me, that's transformation. Yeah. It's quite possible for a lot of nice things to happen at Loving Men and then lots of nice, crazy things to happen at Loving Men. Uh, some of the best times I've had have been at Loving Men. It's such a welcoming and supportive environment. It's a, such a good place to meet people and to learn new skills in how to get on with people that I would recommend it to anybody. In fact, a lot of my straight friends are complaining, why isn't there a Loving Men for us? And, you know, who knows, you know, you, you, you might also possibly meet someone as well because, you know, you're surrounded with men who, again, are seeking that deeper connection and who are looking for something more. And I think if you're coming with that intention, it's, it's you know, quite likely you'll, you'll meet other men as well who are also looking for that. And I think that's very hard to find sometimes, particularly in the bigger, in the wider world, you know.